Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So connect it with an old friend of mine, probably over 20 years. He used to play tennis at USC. His kid is now in high school and being coached by Coach Rob. He came in to pick up some rackets for her and donated the rackets he used to play with. What did he donate? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So coffee sponsor of today is, it says at EB03, EB03 bought me today's coffee. And EB03 writes, bottoms up, keep the content coming. Well, thank you so much. And I will definitely keep it going as long as I can. As long as my crew will keep helping me out and pumping these videos out for you. Uh, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day and keep me and my crew awake and rolling with the videos, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Thank you all in advance. If you want to support the channel, Buy my merch, check out my merch. It's tennisspinusa.com. Check out the uh, cool caps, shirts, and dampeners there. All right. So, my buddy, uh, Jason Wilson, from back in the day, uh, he played over at USC. It's been a long time. But um, his daughter's now in high school. What does that mean? It means we're all old. And uh, <laughs> because it's time for the next generation to take the reins and play tennis. And it just happens so that uh, she's playing for Coach Rob over at uh, the high school that he coaches at. Uh, and we just got her some new rackets. And he decided to donate um, a fleet of his rackets from back in the day. I cleaned them up a bit because they were probably, you know, in the, uh, the garage for uh, 15 years. So check it out. Michael Chang, long body. So graphite, Michael Chang, mid plus, long bodies. So 95 square inch head, 28 inches long on a, on a, yeah. Graphite. <laughs> so this is a version of a graphite that's 95. Prior to this, graphites were either 90 or 110. Uh, so when the long body craze or rage uh, came about, they decided to make it longer. Michael asked for it longer by an inch. And so they made his signature racket. Um, I'm going to actually, these are actually two different colors of the rackets this is titanium oh yeah long and titanium that's right yeah so first the long body then the long body titaniums came out i'm sure there's no difference in these two but i will go through the uh the weighing and balancing processes of these but i'm sure that these are going to be really close so let's set up for weigh and balance. All right, let's get the scale out. We'll start with the, my guess is the older one, because it's been like, I feel like over 20 years now when these rackets were out. Three forty one. Oh, 12 ounces on the dot. So that's with the overgrip on. He had a gross overgrip on because it's all it was all dried out and yeah, not doing very well. So this one does not have a overgrip. 
So it's probably going to weigh a little, little less. That is if it started off the same. Yeah, so yeah, 11.7 on that. So it's going to weigh about the same with an overgrip, which is 3.32. All right. So let's check out the balance. See how much a uh, overgrip can alter a racket? Those of you who just put one on, I mean, you, you, you know, unless you're looking at numbers, um, your, your feel, you're probably used to your feel with the uh, overgrip on because uh, it, it's just what you do. Um, so the balance looks like it's going to be at 330, three, three, so 330 uh, millimeters. Let's see what it is with the overgrip on. Oh, maybe specs are off on this. 320. Hmm. 320 and 330. That's a pretty far off difference here. Uh, let's check the swing weight on these. All right, so with one inch longer, I'm guessing swing weight's going to be pretty high. guessing three forty eight yep it's pretty high let's check the TI version Whoa, 362. And these are supposedly stock rackets. Let's analyze. All right, so um, let's check the numbers out. So with the overgrip, obviously it's a little heavier. For some reason, it's head lighter though. Um, and then the swing weight, pretty high up there. Like. If you compare it to any other stock racket today, that's probably exceeds most of them. Um, on the TI version though, without the overgrip, it's lighter because it's without the overgrip. It's head heavier, which kind of makes sense. And then look at this astronomical number, 362 on a stock racket. That is kind of ridiculous. It, 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 this tells me that when we go out and hit with particularly the TI version, that there's going to be a lot of drag in the racket. It's going to take a while to come through. You got to start that swing off um, pretty early or try to swing as fast as you can if you're going to be late. So um, it's going to be interesting uh, when we go out and, and play. Uh, let's see uh, which coach is available. Um, Maybe Coach Rob, since uh, he's coaching uh, Jason's daughter. Let's see if he's available. Uh, see you on the court. All right, so we just got off the court. Michael Chang, Prince Graphites. Long have, body. <laughs> long body. Long body. That's right. Where does it say that? Oh, long body. Mm -hmm. Hey, I missed that. So, Prince, long body, Michael Chang, Graphite. Remember that old stabilizer bar? Yeah, don't leave home without it. <laughs> I'm going to let you roll. Go for it, bud. All right. So, uh, it was really kind of fun um, 
trying out this 95 in a long body racket. I usually think of a long body having a bigger head size. So um, kind of cool playing with the old racket again. Um, I never used these back in the day, so it was really fun to try something from, uh, what was this, the Prince early, early, 20 years ago, 20 25 years, years 25 ago. 25 years ago. But it, um, yeah, it felt good. Uh, hit some serves with it, got a little extra pop with that extra inch, and uh, groundies felt pretty good, and it was fun to uh, play with it again. I can't remember, you know, um, ever hitting with a long body that was a 95. I think they actually 6-1 classic um, mm. a long body at one time. Mm. So it was a Pro Staff 6-1 long. Um, it was, I know it had an 1820 for sure. I think there was a 16 by 19 too in the red version. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it was before ENCODE, maybe mm. hyper hyper carbon Ooh, hyper pro carbon. staff 95 stretch yeah let's get our, let's it get all that came in. right back to me Whew, <laughs> great hammer, Harry. so that would have been pretty similar to this thing um so our when we first began to rally with these there's a lot of drag to this extra inch i was like late on all the forehands because it, it was just behind and i had to like drag it through to hit through so I was it was a reason why I was hitting your backhand a lot more than your forehand because I couldn't drag it through as fast as like a normal racket um I mean, but I didn't have that problem you no know, your continental is pretty steady so <laughs> the, the steady eddy forehand is always going to win out on on that part um did you check out the string pattern on this thing I did not it's um, a 14 oh really by 18 so it's probably going to be one of the wow. easiest rackets to string. Yeah. They should bring these back in the 14 by 16. So it'll make it a lot easier for us to string. That would be almost like the spin <laughs> pattern, right? The spin effect technology patterns. It'll be like the break effect pattern. Right. Because it'll be nice and easy. Uh, but yeah, no, super solid racket. Um, enjoyed the thinner beam. Yep. Obviously. And uh, yeah, it, feels, it feels like a... I think if they stretched out a uh, blade, this would be very similar to that. Yep. To me. Could so. be like that, what, Serena, the Serena blade. I think we were... Yeah. So Serena's racket is very similar to this thing. Uh, the Serena Signature Edition 102, 10.8 um, ounces before strings. That it feels very, very similar to this. Hmm. Very, yeah, very similar. I have not hit with that one. So... Yeah, it, it's like this, literally, literally. So if you, <laughs> if you guys have one of these things in your uh, garage, hey, pull it out and try it out. All Maybe right. put some new strings in it. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, th these strings are extremely old. <laughs> and don't try to cut an inch off because it won't feel right either. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, super fun to play with, guys. Um, I kind of. I kind of miss this old kind of traditional feel and that I, I got back. After 10 minutes of play, I was on the ball a little bit more, able to come around it. Um, surprisingly easy power, pretty maneuverable after you figure it out, okay? Uh, even serving wasn't hard at all. Yeah, um, I got a little extra kick on one of them. Just right, I was of like... The I ju jumped on Harry a little more than I wasn't planning on really hitting it, but once I got the racket up, I was like, oh, there's a little more racket going up there. Yeah, I was assuming for it to come right there, and it went poop right over the top of the racket, and I'm like, whoa, i never seen that before. Right. So extra inch, more spin. Um, I mean, I guess the extra inches were more power, too, originally. Yeah, I think that was the plan. Thank you, Coach Rob, for sure. hanging out with me today. Um, guys, thank you for watching. Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. You know, most people, they quit tennis because, you know, it's hard to find somebody to play with, right? I'm just, I just feel so lucky to have my buddy, my buddy Coach Rob, that we have so much in common. You know, we're, we're both kind of follically impaired. And ain't that right, Coach Rob? Us follically challenged friends have to hit together. Yes, so 
I have Coach Rob. If you guys need a friend and you're follically impaired or are a bearded one and looking for your bearded mate, right? Check out Player Court. They have people that look like you, play like you, maybe act like you. Check out their site. It's playercourt.com. Your tennis buddy can teach you how to twirl. Hopefully You'll get it someday. Hopefully better than that. We'll have to keep practicing here. <laughs>